This film wants to be epic. It has all the elements for it. But because of the execution, it turns out to be average. And for me, the sad thing is that it had the potential to be really epic. And that backs the question. Can Bollywood really make that mass commercial cinema? Can only Southern films pull it off? Let's talk about it. Hello guys, I'm Nona Prince and I'm just back from watching Shamshera in the biggest screen possible. Now the thing is, the film is fine. It's okay. I think the general audience will find it decent. There are songs and action at the equal intervals. And it is made like the old-fashioned typical Bollywood film. And if you are someone who really enjoys that, this is the film for you. But the big problem is that the Southern industries has perfected this genre and now that they have become pan india everyone has seen them shamshira turns out to be pale in comparison and when i say that the first thing that comes to mind is we should not compare they are very different but the issue is it's very hard not to compare when we recently had two of them back to back and watching this film makes us understand why those films work so well i'll come to that later but first the film is directed by karan malhotra who before this has directed agnipat and brothers both of which are remakes now personally both films had some issues but overall i like them and even for this film he had a really good story there was a lot to be explored but it was the execution that doesn't you know utilize that potential now visually they have done a really good job it captures the mood and feel of the place the vfx is quite uneven some are done really good but some scenes are very obvious and they have actually tried to use dust to hide a lot of it which at moments was very easy for me to see the production design the costume everything was really done well definitely there was lack of authenticity at no point i felt we are in this time period coming to the background music too loud I don't know what happened after KGF. Everyone wants to, you know, make the background music too loud in the theaters. And they use a lot of tools to make everything, you know, feel epic. But if the story is not doing it, all these things don't work out. At so many places, the dialogues, the dialogues were, were echoing. echoing. There are constant flashbacks again and again, which I was not a fan of. And there were many moments where the background music was louder than the dialogue and I couldn't hear it. Already, the dialogues are very muffled. While fighting, doing some action, when they're saying something, it's very hard to hear. Now, I don't know if that was the film's issue or my theater. You have to let me know in the comments below. And on Honestly, during the climax, the BGM really became noise to me. And over that, the sound design was so loud. Each punch, each kick, like I could feel it. I was vibrating. Now, maybe it's because I was not that invested into the story. Maybe it works for other people, but personally, I was not a fan of it. The songs in the film were big no for me. They were really short well, a lot of interesting things, but those work only as music videos. And honestly, they just halted the narrative for me. They were just dragging it. And because of these things, you know, I said it's very old-fashioned that we need to have these songs at the equal intervals. Times are changing and you have to change with them. And now coming to the biggest issue of the film. It is just rushed. I don't know what was the hurry. They were like, no, we cannot waste any time. Just finish this film. And the whole film is affected by it. Scene after scene, it's just exposition. The script is plagued by convenient writing. And that happens because you're rushing everything. It feels like we're just going through the motion. The characters are flat. There's no depth to them. Even Ranbir's character. I don't know why he's like this. Why he wants to do this. He's just doing it. And that really impacts his performance because it just feels like Ranbir is trying to do action. That's it. That's his characteristics. Only character that stands out is Sanjay Dutt's who starts very goofy but later really becomes menacing. And you know, there's this whole world building. There's a lot going on but not enough time is given to it and it all falls flat. And it's really hard not to compare because a lot many things in the film looks inspired from Bahubali and KGF. And there's nothing wrong in that. Maybe it's unintentional. You are telling a story, you know, which is very similar to those films and the comparisons are inevitable table and it all comes to storytelling and you see how those films do it so well every moment in those films feels earned there's an impact those scenes get imprinted in our mind i saw samshera two hours ago and there's no visual in my mind which stuck with me and you know those trailer shots which you see in the trailer and we expect you know when we see those scenes in the film they'll be epic sad to say the three four seconds of trailer shot is good when we see it in the full picture they don't really work. I kid you not, yesterday I shot a video breaking down the screenplay structure of Triple R and why it works. And literally this film lacks that. By the end, you know, it really feels like they were just ticking boxes. Oh, let's have a hero. Let's have his father. Let's have this as a villain. That's what it feels like. And you know, this film is an example for the people who look down at commercial cinema that it is also art. You need to have that craft inside you to make a really good commercial film. Now, there were a few things which I liked in the narrative. You know, like the hero questioning himself, doubting himself, his actions, which I'm always a fan of in a story. And even with the story points, some messaging, you know, portrayal of British. I like those ideas. I have a feeling that some 
some chera will go through some trouble because of some controversies it's very easy nowadays for people to get offended you know i want to expand my points but for that i have to go into the spoiler section which i don't want to right now but if you want that do let me know in the comments you know if it was like the story was not good enough that's why the film is average that's one thing but when you see that the story had so much potential but the film couldn't exploit it that really makes me sad you can check out my video of why triple r works if you like this like share subscribe leave your comments below and i'll see you next time